What's going on everybody? This is Subshot and today in this tutorial I'm going to show y'all how to do the 808 slides the brand new way just like how it's done in FL Studio for many years. So let's get started here. What we used to do before brand new Ableton 11 came out is we used to slide our 808s and other notes by setting the setting the sample or the instrument to monophic in this case it's this 808 I have here so it's always been set to one and then you set it to glide mode and this is how it's always been done this is a set time but now Ableton 11 has a brand new feature and this is actually done the similar to how FL Studio has done it for years so what we're gonna do is we're gonna play this out so when we look at it first it's very simple it's just a simple pattern just the F sharp and then the C sharp and it repeats itself repeats itself but you're going to notice a difference when I play it. So if you hear that, what's actually happening is it's it all plays on this note but this note here out of all these other three it looks the same on paper but this one's sliding and how's that being affected well we go into this new tab we go into this slide tab here which is the third one so and you notice that I actually put it on here. So I'm going to show you how it's done. First, we got to zoom in. And you can see right here. It starts at zero. That's my initiator. Drop it down, negative seven semitones. That is my finisher for this first slide. And then my second slide, negative seven up to plus five. That is my initiating. That's the initiator point. The finisher point initiator point finisher point and then right here plus five that is an initiator point and then right here zero semitones is the finisher point so there are two points to each slide initiator and finisher I'm going to show you how it's done so we're going to go to this next note here and I'm actually going to do the same thing so we're going to go here and I highly recommend to bring this up. That's going to give you more room to work with. And then we'll alt scroll up. And we're going to bring it back a bit. But right here we got some space to work with now. So when I play this. I'm going to. I know where I want to start it so I'm going to review what this looks like it's it is this note long so I'm going to apply that here so I'm going to go here and I'm just going to drop this so I'm going to I'm just going to review that and just just kind of see how how quick it is or how slow it is so I put a slide here and when I play that's too quick so I'm gonna move this over now if you want this to snap to the grid and exactly on exactly on note you just hold down the alt key when you click it so when I play it, and then the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to go negative 7, do plus 5, 
and right here. Right here, I'm just gonna go here, plus five, and I'm gonna put this up to like plus 17 because that is the same node in octave up. So right here, I started at my root node of C sharp four, dropped it minus seven to like F sharp three, and then, and in my second slide, initiated at F sharp three, which is seven down to F sharp four in octave up and plus five. That is my finishing point, and my initiating point here is at plus five F sharp four, and finishing point plus seventeen, which is F sharp five. And when I play that, and then right here on paper, it's just this note here, C sharp four, but it, but they're different now. here I'm gonna do the same thing I'm just gonna copy this for quickness and then I'm gonna drop this to drop this to like negative 2 under the root node so when I play it starts here at the C sharp 4 and then the slide fin and this note finishes at B sharp at B three straight. So that's it. That's it. Thank you for watching. Leave if you want more tutorials like this and want more beats from subshotproductions.com. Leave a like, comment, subscribe. Hit that notification bell. This is Subshot Productions, and I'm out. Peace.